What's going on everybody? My name is Manstrom. Welcome to my channel. This is where I react to TV shows, movies, and other things that I find interesting. And today we are getting into Interstellar. Now before we get on with those reactions, I want to let y'all know that I do have a Patreon. Over at Patreon, you can see all my reactions uncut, unedited. You also get them weeks, weeks, weeks ahead of YouTube. So if you guys want to check that out, link's going to be in the description for that. And also you can find me streaming over on Twitch. I stream about once or twice a week. I play a variety of games. Come hang out. We have a whole bunch of fun. The link's going to be in the description for that as well. And of course, if you guys like my reactions, like my content, consider hitting that subscribe button because that really helps out the channel too all right interstellar um i know a little bit about this movie i've seen little things on the internet here and there um i heard it's like really good and i've noticed it's really long things i know about it is that it's science fiction and it has to do with time travel um i know that matthew mcconaughey uh he cries in this movie because i've seen him crying in this movie like i've seen that image of him just all over the internet and i know the song there's a song in this movie and i hear the song all over the internet too so i know that other than that i don't really know like the story or the plot or the specifics i heard you had to really pay attention to what's going on pay attention to every detail um but yeah this movie is very long it's two hours and 49 minutes dude i have to sit here for almost three hours and look at this screen right here that's crazy i don't know but other than that there's not much more to say so let's just get into interstellar let's go boom There's a spaceship right there. Oh my, that was a farmer. Um, like everybody else back then. Wait, who what? Oh fuck, I missed it. <laughs> Already fucking up. Sorry about it. I thought you were the ghost. Uh, no such thing as ghost, babe. Grandpa's- Maybe that's because Grandpa's a little too close to being one himself. Were you dreaming about the crash? She put it back in bed, Mar. <laughs> she knows about it, which means it's been with him. It's traumatizing him. It's Matthew McConaughey, right? That's him, this character right here. still had corn we had acres of corn but uh mostly we had dust i guess i can't describe it it was just constant just that what we wore um well when we set the set the plate upside down scissor cups whatever it was upside down oh my god there's dust everywhere what the heck did you do to my lander? It was me. You guess it was your ghost? It knocked it off my shelf. It's knocking the books off. No such thing as Hey. I looked it up. It's called a poltergeist. Nah, tell her. It's not very scientific, Murph. Oh, so this little kid, this little girl, she's seen a, a ghost then, I guess. And that's a Lithco. Cool. That, uh, that guy right there. If you want it. Right? Third rock from the sun? Planting corn with the rest of it. Oh, you'd be nice to that Miss Hanley. She's single, repopulating the earth. Pulling your way, young man. Yeah, mind your own business, old man. So these people are just having like a terribly bad dust storm. And it's killing all the crops. What's going on, Murph? Why did you and Mom name me after something that's bad? No, we didn't. Murphy's Law. Well, Murphy's Law doesn't mean that something bad will happen. What it means is that whatever can happen will happen. And that sounded just... Whatever can happen will happen. Or will, whatever, whatever will happen can happen. Or... What about the flat tire? Why are they following this little aircraft right here? What the fuck? He's driving through the crops with a flat tire just to get a glimpse of this aircraft. Me an Air Force drone. Solar cells can power an entire farm. Take the wheel Indian Air Force. Right at it. Stay on it. Here we go. So is this not in like current times? Is this like in the future or something? We lost it. No, we didn't. Well, he hacked it. Why'd he come down so long? Maybe the sun cooked its brain or it was looking for something. What? Some kind of signal? What are you going to do with it? Give it something socially responsible to do. Like drive a combine. What the hell? It's a machine. We just let it go. Now we can use it. How's this work? You guys come with? I've got class. This one. The weight. <sighs> yeah, it's just a machine. Who cares? So, uh, we got Tom's scores back. He's gonna make an excellent farmer. Farmer? What about college? Well, the uh, university only takes a hand's worth. I still pay my taxes. And where, where's that money? Farming, no armies. I'm not sure I see what you're getting at. Only one to measure my son's future. You're a well-educated man, Coop. And a trained pilot. And an engineer. Okay, well, right now, more engineers. We didn't run out of television screens and planes. The world needs farmers. The world needs farmers? You and Tom. Uneducated farmer. 
What the fuck? There's no food? And things are getting better. Maybe your grandkids will get to be angry down here. Is this dust? Everything is dust? No way, dude. Murph got into a fist fight with several of her classmates over this, so we thought it would be best to bring you in and see what ideas you might have. Yeah, you know what? Um, there's a game tomorrow night. The baseball phase. Her favorite team's playing. There's gonna be candy. I think I'll take her to that. How to <laughs> it got you suspended. Okay. One thing I want to say about that is they're talking about leaving Earth. They said we don't want to leave Earth. We want to make it work here. So I guess things are so bad on Earth that there's no food. That you can actually leave though. Is that possible? Like where would you go? Where are they going right now? That isn't Earth. Like how is leaving Earth an option? By one, they've been peeling off the fields and heading over. Something's interfering with the compass. Oh, the farming machines are like self-driven. Nothing special about which book. I've been working on it. I count the spaces in case the ghost is trying to communicate. Dots and dashes used. I know what Morse code is. What if there is a ghost? What if this entire time there was a ghost all along? It felt like they made something new every day. Gadget or idea. Like every day was Christmas. But six and every last one of them trying to have it all. This world isn't so bad. You're the one who doesn't belong. Born 40 years too late or 40 years... Did he say that? Like, there's less people now? Because he said, imagine, like, there was six billion people and there's not anymore, so... I'm guessing a lot of people died. You didn't expect this jerk that was giving you this food. In April, I believe, I'm right, I think. This, cause this happened about 1.30 when hmm? I think top of that canyon. In my day, we had real ball play. Oh, they're talking about an incident, and we're about to see it right now. I think that's great. <laughs> you think that's great? You hate farming, Dad. Hey, Grandpa said, huh? It isn't all that matters how you feel about it. I like what you do. I like our farm. <laughs> Oh, the dad's trying to talk the kid into being a farmer, cause... Oh, here we go! We got a dust armor, what? Let's get out of here. Are you kidding me? Alright, it's a doozy. Uh, gang, let's mask up. Tom Murph? Oh man, it's... It's a doozy. It's a doozy sandstorm. Earth, Tom, you guys shut your windows? So this is future Earth. This has to be future Earth. They didn't say... They haven't given like a year. Yeah, I, I didn't say a year. But this has to be future Earth. It's not a ghost. I'm dropping Tom, then heading to town. And you finish praying to it? It's not Morse. Murph, it's binary. What? Wait, so there's actually a ghost trying to communicate with them? And she thought it was Morris, but this guy's saying his coordinates. But you don't know what you're gonna find. And that is why I can't take it. So who's sending the signal or who's sending that code or whatever? Oh, she snuck along. Here, if it wasn't for me. Make yourself useful. No GPS. You gotta use maps, dude. How crazy is that? How do you use a good old map to travel? All right, they made it to the gate or a gate or something. Hmm. So what are they looking for? I just following a message from a ghost. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Not armed. What? Whoa! Afraid? Don't be afraid. You just tased my dad. Marines don't exist anymore. I got grunts like you. Unless you don't look much like a lawnmower. I'll turn you into an overqualified vacuum cleaner. Tars, back down, please. Yeah, you're taking a risk. He's the next. Hey, that's Anne Hathaway, isn't it? 
Explain to me how you found this facility. I'm the accident. We sort of stumbled upon it. You're sitting in the best kept secret in the world. Nobody stumbles out. Cooper, please cooperate with these people. It's a ghost. It's some as a ghost. From an anomaly. I hesitate to term it supernatural. Have to be specific, Mr. Cooper. Gravity. And I don't mean in the trunk of some car. <laughs> don't you know who you flew for? NASA? They're NASA? What the hell? There's a rocket ship right there. Holy cow! Opinion wouldn't allow spending on SpaceX. Not when you're struggling to put food on the table. Wheat, seven years ago. Now there's just corn. We're growing more than we ever have. Well, with like the corn. Well, what? No vegetables? Earth's atmosphere is 80% blight does, and as it thrives, our air gets less and less oxygen. To starve will be the first to suffocate. Your daughter's generation will be the last to survive on Earth. What? This is it? This is the end of yeah. humans on Earth? Now you need to tell me what your plan is to save the world. Yeah, what's your plan, homie? Here we go. Rangers. We're pulling a Wally, dude. Versatile ship. You know, our final expedition. You sent people out there looking for a new home? Yeah, where's the new home at, though? There's not a planet in our solar system in life and the nearest stars over a thousand. It doesn't even qualify as futile. Yeah, where, where, where? I can't tell you anymore unless you agree to pilot this craft. You're the best pilot we ever had. I barely left the stratosphere. We need a pilot, and this is the mission that you were trained for. They want him to pilot this? No, you didn't even know I was on the ship off of Earth. But something sent you here. They chose you. Well, who's they? The ghost sent you here. The ghost sent Matthew McConaughey here to be the pilot. Yes. I've got kids, Professor. Get out there and save them. Who's they? Yeah. Who are the ghosts? That wormhole lets us travel to other stars. They've put potentially habitable worlds right within our reach. You sent probes into that? Mm hmm. We sent people into it 10 years ago. The Lazarus missions. 12 possible worlds. This is crazy. This is crazy information. I'm just trying to soak it all in right now. Observations on organics over a decade or more. Their mission was to assess their world, and if it showed potential, then they could send out a signal, bed down for the long nap, wait to be rescued. And what if the world didn't show promise? You don't have the resources to visit all 12. No. They sent one person to 12 different places, and if they didn't make it, if there's nothing there, then that's it. That's fucked up. So if we find a home, then what? The long shot. There's a plan A and a plan B. All right, yeah, what's plan B? Notice anything strange about the launch chamber? No, I didn't. Tell me about it. This launch chamber. Well, this entire facility is a centrifuge. Some kind of vehicle. A base station? Both. How do you get it off the ground? First gravitational anomalies. Gravitational anomalies. So I started working on the theory and we started building this. They were harnessing gravity? Hmm. 30 years, we could have a colony of hundreds. This takes care of that. Yeah, what about the people here? You just, you give up on them? My kids? That's why plan A is a lot more fun. Those, are those A's, is that like human people? That they, they want to make? Find us a new home. And by the time you return, I will have solved the problem of gravity. I give you my word. What the hell? So what is the problem with gravity, specifically? They fucked it up somehow? There's anomalies? I'm, I'm starting to understand what's going on, and I feel like I'm still missing some pieces, so. Earth. But I'm starting to understand it for the most part. To be memories for our kids. I think I now understand what you meant. Once you're a parent, you're the ghost of your children. He's a ghost and not exist. So the little girl's upset because this fool's leaving to find a new world. Dude, that's crazy. Exactly why you can't go. I figured out the message. One word. You know what it is? Stay. It says stay, Dad. Look at the books. Look at this. It says why you're not listening. It says stay. Yeah, that's crazy, actually. She's, she's kind of convincing me. If that really does say stay, then that's... She's kind of convincing me. I think Matthew McConaughey should listen to her. You and me? Imagine that. Ah, oh, Murph. You have no idea when you're coming back. No idea! Oh! Like me leave like this. 
Come on, Murph. Don't make me leave like this, Murph. Don't put it on her. It's her daughter, dude. Of course she's gonna be upset. Can't be like, oh, don't do this. Don't make me feel bad. But he is like last hope or whatever. Tough situation to be in. I'm coming back. He's not coming back. Another book fell. Gotta go. He ignored it. Hey, uh -huh. hey can I use your truck where you got? I mean, your truck. I'll make sure they bring it back. Look after my kid, Donald. Last time they were ever gonna see him. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, maybe. Go for him. Too late, little girl. Main engine start four, three, two, booster ignition and. All right, here we go. Good beginning roll program. Prepare for stage one separation. This looks crazy, dude. Mark one. Ah, right, there's the team. It's hard leaving everything. Kids. We're going to be spending a lot of time together. We should learn to talk. 90%. Absolute honesty isn't always the most form of communication with emotional beings. 90% it is, Dr. Graham. So they have like an on ship computer. That's 12 minutes out. It's pretty cool, too. Like another member of the ship. So they're looking for like a new planet to live on or something. Nice and easy, Doyle. Nice and easy. I'm feeling good. What is this thing that's grabbing onto us? Lock? Target locked. Target. Okay, helmet's on. Good job. What is it? Like a space station? Yeah, it's like a space station. Cooper, you should have control. Control here. Communication with ring module active. Oh. And this movie reminds me of Wally -E and 2001 Space Odyssey so far. Thirty percent of spin. Thirty. They said rotate. Thirty percent of spin. So one. How's gravity treating you back there? So they're just spinning, spinning circles for some reason. Okay, I think we have some dramamine in the happy in the cryo bay. Just be a sec. Hey, Brian. Bring a lot. <laughs> so what is this for? What is the, the spinning for? It looks good for your trajectory. We've cut two years to Saturn. It's a lot of dramamine. Two years till they get to Saturn? A little older, a little wiser. Happy to see you. Two years, bro. To that good night. Days you should burn and rave. Holy cow, bro. Do not go gentle into that good night. Each rage against the dying of the Lord. Well, there's Earth. So that spinny thing is gonna take them to Saturn? And it's gonna take them two years, bro. Thank you, sir. Oh my God. What kind of mission is this? The human race is going to be adrift. Desperate for a rock it can cling to while it catches its breath. Rock? Our three prospect. What might sustain human life? Or a Miller's planet is first. What the hell is that? A biology program. Hmm. That right there, what the fuck is that? He's in water in a bag. Evil because it rips a gazelle to shreds. This is what we take with us. This crew represents the best of humanity. You know what? We agreed 90%. Okay. Oh, just remember, Coop, you are literally wasting your breath. Oh, they're all going to sleep. You talk they're going to sleep for two years? Eight months to Mars. Fling shot around. 14 months to Saturn. Nothing has changed on that. Oh, they're going to sleep. Dr. Brand and Edmonds. I wouldn't know. 90% wouldn't know it. I also have a discretion setting, Cooper. Oh, he can't be a snitch. 
I wonder who's playing the robot. I wonder who's playing the robot. I'll check after. Murph is a bright spot. She's already making fools of her teachers. So maybe she should come and make a fool out of you. So where are they? Heading for Mars. The next time you hear from Cooper, they'll be coming up on Saturn. See, for the people on the ship, they go to sleep. For them, it was just a nap. And it, but but it was actually two years. But for the people on Earth, they have to live two years. And these motherfuckers are just taking a nap. All right, well, they're in Saturn. That's Saturn right there. But they said I could start advanced agriculture a year early. All right, I gotta go, Dad. Hope you're safe up there. Oh, they send videos like that. I'm sorry, Coop. I asked Murph to say hi. Stubborn as a old man. I'll try again next time. Damn, Murph doesn't want to talk to him. She's still pissed. I don't blame her. No one should be more upset than her. In orbit, and every time we come around, we would receive images from X Wing and a periscope around. So we've got a pretty good idea. Wow, they could see inside the wormhole and see the other galaxy through it like a window. Guys, looks That's like we're the wormhole in about three hours. Three hours? They're almost to the wormhole. Said wormhole. There, that's, that, that's it. That's the wormhole. You say it, don't spread it, Rob. No, it's just that all the illustrations I've ever seen, eh? They say you want to go from here. So a wormhole bends space like this. What the fuck, really? But who put it there? Who do we have taken anybody until we get out of here in one piece, Rom? What if they go through the wormhole, but they can't go back? What if it's one way only? Any trick to this, Doyle? No one knows. Whoa! That looks crazy. At least some of them. What the fuck? That looks crazy. They're inside. What the hell? Everybody ready to say goodbye to our solar system? They're inside the sphere. Oh no, they're fucked. Controls won't work here. We're passing through the bulk. All you can do is record and observe. What? It's on autopilot? Wormhole autopilot? It's them? Them who? What is she touching? What is that? What was that? First handshake. Where? Handshake. We're here. They, them, the the Morse code, not the Morse code, but the people that sent in the message. And they made it. They made it through. But that was trippy. Like I know they made it through, but I'm more focused on like the Anne Hathaway shaking of whatever the fuck that was. He was sending the thumbs up right until it went dark. But Miller still looks good. The planet is much closer to Gargantua than we thought. It's what we're calling them the black hole. Miller's and Dr. Mann's planets both orbit it. And basketball around a hoop. Landing there takes us dangerously close. Big has a huge gravitational pull. So the planet they're trying to get to is too close to a black hole? No. The risk is too high. Well, we can just drop down there without Cooper. And our mission plan A is to find a planet being on the Earth right now. You can't just think about your family. Now you have to think bigger than that, alright? Millions of other families. Okay, plan A does not work. One day at that place is seven years on Earth. Okay. Coop is right. We need to think about time as a resource, just like oxygen and food going. Yeah, time is a resource, dude. No, you don't. And just think about the resources, including time that would be spent. Yeah. How far off of Miller's planet do we have to be to, to stay out of night, which is here, just outside of Miller's planet? Right. Okay. <laughs> the cusp. Stay out of the cusp. Time will be fine. I could use the time to research gravity. Observations from the wormhole. That's gold to put. Gargantua. Conserve fuel. Minimize thrust. And make sure we stay in range of Miller's planet. Dr. Brown. Ah, this is a big plan, big operation. You don't say much, do you? Taurus talks plenty for both of us. So what are they trying to get? Just samples? But they don't want to get too close. Time and gas and resources and food. Do you mean forces? 
This is the priority. A literal heart of darkness. Oh my god, a black hole. This is fast for atmospheric entry. Should we use the thrusters to slow? No. Air brake? I want to get down fast. Actually, we want to get there in one piece. Brand, oil, get ready. Air brake instead of thrust to save gas. That's where I can see him, Case. The only time I ever went down was in the machine. A little caution would go and get you killed, just like right that fast. I got this. Believe in Matthew McConaughey. I don't know why, but I believe in him. Set for life. You have a fix on the beacon. Got it. Can you maneuver? I'm gonna, need, I'm gonna spiral down on top of it. Everybody hang on. On top of what? There's nothing there. What are you waiting for? Let's go. Go, 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 go. All right, he's uh. Years per hour here. Let's make it count. He's a good pilot. Wait, he just says seven years an hour. Wait, I thought it was seven years a day. Seven years an hour. That's way worse. Hurry the hell up. Gravity's punishing. Been floating through space too long? 130% Earth gravity. 130% Earth gravity? Where's the mountains? Those aren't mountains. The waves. What? Oh shit. It's a tsunami. Go back. Go back. Moving away from us. Get back in the ship. We need the recorder. Get back. There, there's a tsunami headed right for them. Holy shit. And Doyle, back to the Ranger now. Leaving without. You can go back. No, we do not have. To. You can go back later. Ranger now. Hey, hey. get back here now. Look, look, look. Look, yeah, look at it. Go, robot, go. Go, go, go. We're not gonna make it. Yes, you are. I'm not gonna make it, she says. <laughs> All right, the robot, the robot saved her. All right, go, go, go. Come on. He's carrying her. Whoa, he jams. Go, go. Dude, that robot's awesome. Tars, Tars is his name. Get in, bro. We just lost homeboy, dude. Damn, this one down. Go fly, bro. Like engines flooded? Screw that, dude. Get the hell off this planet. Hey, it's a problem. Too waterlogged. Let it drain. I told you to leave me. And I told you. Why get didn't your you ass leave me? back here. One of us was thinking about the mission, right? I was like, thinking about getting home. I was trying to do the right thing. Nah, it's your fault, Anne Hathaway. Hey, I'm a dog. 45 to an hour. Yeah. The stuff of life, huh? What's this gonna cost us, Brand? A lot of decades. Decades? Wreckage. She was broken up by a wave soon after impact. So how's the wreckage stay together after all these years, huh? Because of the time slippage. On this planet's time, she landed hours ago. She... What the hell? They need to get off this planet. Status echoing endlessly. Oh, you're not prepared for this. Time. The, all the time's flying by while they're here. They need to get off ASAP. Is there any possibility? I don't know. Some, some in a black hole. Came back the years. Don't shake your head. Time is relative, okay? Gain back the years. It can't run backwards. It can't, right? The only thing that can move dimensions like time is gravity. Okay. Gravity can time travel? How long for the engine's case? Well, we don't have it. Come on! Another one? No. They barely got the engines un unflooded. Roger that. Lock. There you go. Go, go, go. Ah, jeez. Ah, oh, there's a guy. I've waited years. How many years? By now it must be. It's 23 years, four months, eight days. 23 years? Oh, I had a couple of stretches. 
I stopped believing you were coming back. Something seemed wrong about dreaming my life for me. The 23 years? And for them, it was like two hours? That is crazy, bro. I'm still like... Um, I'm still mind blown from that. I met another girl, Dad. I, uh... Oh, this is the scene where Matthew McConaughey cries. The meme, the meme scene. Murphy still grabbed his car. And they didn't even, they didn't even learn, well they learned that they can't even live there and one of their friends died. That's all that happened. They went down there and were like, oh, we can't live there. Them. Never coming back or coming back to find we've failed. Then let's succeed. It's most likely they failed. I'm an old man, Murph. Can we take this point up at another time? No, what is she on to? My daughter. It's gonna be important. Step Whatever she's saying right now, it's gonna be important. We must confront the reality of interstellar traffic. Interstellar. Hey. <laughs> Cars, chart a course for Dr. Mann. Okay, so they're going through with it. They're gonna target Mr. Man or Dr. Man over here. They're saying that Anne Hathaway's character is choosing based on emotional, you know, emotional decision making. Murph, have you eaten enough? Would you like some more souffle? Oh no, it's delicious. Cook, finish your fritter, please. Look at all they're eating is corn, corn bread, and corn. Hey, get back. Please. All they can eat is corn. Need to. That's terrible. Lois, I have a friend who... <coughs> Another dust storm? What the hell? Dude, what happened to Earth, bro? It has to be a subjective thing. Mm. So they're running out of fuel, so they can only make so many choices. We were trying to reach you. Hey, it's, um, what's his face? There's nothing to forgive. I lied, I lied, Murph. I lied. Lied about what? Say it. What? what? There, there was no need for to come. What? He knew? Did he leave me? To go. <sighs> so, what did he just say right now? You can't leave. Yeah. He said he knew that McConaughey was never going to come back. Brian, did you know? He told you, right? He's talking to Anne Hathaway. He's saying Anne Hathaway, or she's saying that Anne Hathaway yeah. knew that they weren't coming back. Wait, really? They left everyone at Earth planning never to save them? Just leaving them? Everyone there? What's up with this planet? This ice planet? Do I like that robot? What is this? Alright, it says Dr. Man on it. What? He's sleeping in there? No way. What? There's someone there. Is that my Damon? What the hell? They found him. What the hell? He was there. Just sleeping on this ice planet by himself? What the hell? Our world uh, is cold, stark, but undeniably beautiful. This world? Days are 67 hours long, cold. This is where they're moving to? 67 far colder hours. 67, 67? No, no, he needs a human touch. Case is relaying a message for you from the home station. Okay, be right there. Okay, so they could actually live here then. It's livable, but it's not the best, you know. Oh, she's gonna see the message. Dr. Brand, I'm sorry to tell you that your father died today. He had no pain. He was at peace. 
I'm sorry for your loss. Oh, he's going to see it too? Did my father know too? Dad? I just want to know if you left me here to die. Fuck. <laughs> Terrible. Nice one, Dad. You now the incredible sacrifice is being made. The people on Earth are going to die in arrogance. He declared their case hopeless. Sorry, Cooper. Their case is hopeless. No. We are the future. Damn. So they were never saving anyone from Earth. They were just leaving everyone at Earth. I was never scared of it. I called it a ghost because it felt like a person. It was trying to tell me something. If there's an answer here on Earth, it's... Oh, it's, uh... The person that was sending the message is Matthew McConaughey. At the end of the movie, he's gonna send a message to himself and telling him to stay. He should have been listening to himself. That's my prediction. It was Matthew McConaughey was the ghost. I'm gonna need Tars to remove and adapt some components. Well, I don't want to disturb his archival functions. Oh, I'll supervise. Dr. Man, we need to find three secure sites. Uh, the robot's gonna sacrifice himself for everyone. 72 hours, yeah? Roger that, Cooper. Wow, it actually looks nice. I'd be remiss if I didn't at least mention that mission such as ours could certainly use. What the fuck is that? Hey, you better slow down, Turbo. Remember. Safety first. Oh, I thought that was like an enemy or something. But once we set up base. Even though there's no enemies in this movie. Time is the enemy. How long have you had that cough? A while. Oh, look, the ghost. She put her watch up there. That your coup. Why don't you have a seat here for me? They cannot stay here. Well, the, the lungs? The lungs are too bad? They can't be breathing in any more dust? Oh. I mean, it makes sense. Professor, I am having trouble completing the Buddha. I don't understand. You don't understand? He's having trouble. What the fuck? <laughs> Why is he backstabbing him? Once the others realize we cannot survive here. Oh, it's not a livable place. You have to leave. Right now. Let me make something abundant. Responsibility. Why did he punch him? Mom and Jesse. All the data. What? All the data was fake? Is not livable? There's no surface. No. This place is inhabitable? And I resisted the temptation. So he's one of the 12 people that got sent out in a random direction and if they die, they die. Hey, fucking coward. Yes. Oh, so there's nothing. He was just calling for someone to save his life. Don't let him kill you, McConaughey. And these two idiots are fighting over here. Stop it! So Murph and her brother having a, like, a falling out. No. No! Dude, don't let him crack your freaking glass. Why do you let him do that? No, what is that? He would never test human habit. So Matt Damon just wants the ship to get off. What a trickster. I'm sorry, I can't. I can't watch you go through this. I'm sorry. I thought I could, but I can't. I'm here. I'm here for you. Just listen to my voice, Cooper. You're not alone. So what would he do? Like, how does he get out of this one? Do you see your children? What the hell? This guy's mad. It's okay. They're right there with you. Dude, get up and run back to the base. The professor run back to the ship. The other thing that he ripped off from back here? Hey! I have a fix. Go. And away! Go, go save him. To access function. It's all yours, sir. Yeah, what's up with the robots? What the hell is this lady doing? Try not to freak. She's born she's burning the corn. Why are all these things happening at the same time? 
Then she's bringing the corn. That's it. All the corn's gone. They gave him like an oxygen capsule or whatever. There you go. Our right, crops are burning now. Now what's gonna happen with this guy? This data makes no sense. He's being set up. Rama. What? What exploded? Lord. Oh, the fire is a diversion. Dr. Man's coming in. What is Matt Damon doing? He got- what ship is that that he's on right now? It's aboard. Did not survive. Do not save him. Cars is in. I'll take huh, what, uh, why, what exploded? Dr. Mann, please respond! Well, the autopilot does. Not since TARS disabled it. What's your trust setting, TARS? Lower than yours, apparently. Please respond. So, Matt Damon just stole a ship, or what? Where, I, th I thought McConaughey and Anne Hathaway, were, Anne Hathaway were in a ship. But then Matt Damon's in a ship, so there's two ships? I thought there was one ship. Uh, the watch that McConaughey gave her and the seconds are going crazy to go on like that. Auto docking sequence with override. Unauthorized. Oh, he can't dock. Override. Unauthorized. You can't dock, bro. Do not attempt docking. I repeat, do not attempt docking. <sighs> He's trying to steal like the ship ship, like the, the base, the base, the home base ship. The one that spins. He's trying to manually dock. This guy's crazy. Moving slowly toward the endurance. Matt Damon's gonna try to jump from ship to ship. What if he misses? It's over. Hatch lockout. Dr. Man, do not, I repeat, do not open the hatch. If you open the hatch, the airlock will... Ah! Stop it, Matt Damon. Listen to him. The air is going to depressurize or whatever. Don't you know what that means? Because I don't. Open the inner hatch. Eric, do not open the inner hatch. Brand? I don't know what he said to you, and then we can talk about completing the mission. There is a moment. Oh, shit. It is nuts. Dude, he just blew himself up. Oh my God. Blew up everything, you dummy. Cooper, fuel to Analyze the endurance of spin. What the hell's he doing? Cooper, what are you doing? Docking. He's in a dock. Come on, bro. It's 67, 68 RPM. It's not possible. No. What the hell is this guy trying to do? Base, you ready? Ready. Base, five black. You ready to engage the docking mechanism? This ain't gonna work. It's gonna break. It's gonna twist off and break everything. The turrets are starting to heat. Starboard Cooper. Ten feet out. Initiating spin. Oh, they're gonna spin with it. Oh, okay. That's how they're gonna do it. And then boom, latch on. Go oh, latch on already, Jesus. So right now they're just turning on all the engines, right? I know, they're gonna lose ears. One mile mark. Three, two, mark. Detach. Goodbye, Tars. See you on the other side, Coop. No, Tars. Nice wreck, let's fly. Ranger two. Prepare to detach. What? No! No! Clear to third law. 
Well, Matthew McConaughey is staying behind. 90%. He lied. He's a 10% liar. Matthew McConaughey, no. He's going to a black hole. So Anne Hathaway is a survivor? What? No, Matthew McConaughey. Heading towards blackness. It's all black. Uh, it's all blackness. Cars, do you read me over? Holy shit. Okay. Screams. Gaining interference. He's just explaining what he sees, but... Increasing. Going down. Ah. Right. What is that? What's what's hitting his his ship? It's like a hailstorm. Ah. Okay, corn fire back at Earth. Eject? Hell no, he ain't ejecting. Ejecting a black hole? Nah, bro. What the hell? Tars, go save him. What the hell? Somehow the black hole took him to the other side of his bookcase? Her ghost. So what's he supposed to do here? He's just stuck. We don't have time for this, come on! Well, what is she discovering? Dude, her dad, I'm telling you, told you, her dad was a ghost all along. What the hell? He just stuck behind the books? Ah, he... Stay. Man, he wants his daughter to make him stay. Don't let me leave, Murph. Dude, she was right. No, don't let me leave, Murph. <laughs> don't let me leave. Ah, she realized it. You were my ghost. How the hell did she realize it? <laughs> Tars, the robot. You have worked out that you can exert a force across space time. I sent a message. So, in the black hole, there's five dimensions, but they made this three-dimensional space for him, because he's just a man, a human. Oh, the dust storm, from the beginning of the movie. It's gravity. Don't you get it yet, Tars? I brought myself here. We're here to communicate with a three-dimensional world. We're the bridge. I'm trying to understand all of this, but maybe I'm just dumb. They didn't choose me, they chose her. For what, Cooper? To save the world. What, Murph's gonna save the world? Not him? Find a specific place in time. They can't communicate, tell Murph. Just like I found this moment. How, Cooper? Love, Tars, love. My connection with Murph, it is quantifiable. It's the key. 
What the hell? I watch. What the heck? This is crazy. So she's the one. We code the data into the movement of the second hand. Translate the data into Morrison V. Cooper, what if she never came back for it? Oh, that's why the hand signal is moving like this, because it's Morse code. You will. He's coming, man. Come on, get the watch. Okay. I'm coming down. How do you know? Because I gave it to her. Yes, look at it. It's going crazy. Look at the hand. She's noticing. What's he telling her? All right, she found it. Took her long enough. And now we got the brother. The brother's freaking pissed right now. Oh, she's writing it down. Matthew McConaughey is just in a black hole, not eating, just chilling. Chilling in a black hole. Eureka! It's traditional. Eureka, she figured it out. I thought you get it yet, Tars. They're not beings. They're us. What? They are us? Not you and me. A civilization that's evolved past the four dimensions we know. Holy shit. Yeah, what happens now? Where is he at? Just in a black hole. Oh, there's Anne Hathaway. Oh! That's whose hand she was shaking. She was shaking Matthew McConaughey's hand. Huh? What's that over there? Flashing lights. Huh? Wait, wait, what? Now we're waking up in a bed? Nice and easy, Mr. Cooper. Remember, you're no spring chicken anymore. Actually, you are 124 years old. 124? Wait. Take it slow, sir. You were uh, extremely 124. Old, far too old to be transferring from another station. But when she heard that you'd been found, well, this is uh, this is Murphy Cooper we're talking about. We'll have you checked out here in a couple days. So it's been 124 years for him. I didn't see what's in the store. Cause he keeps on getting stuck in paper on you. Like places where time goes slower. And of course, I I didn't speak to her personal. So they just made a new place to live. Um, like everybody else back then. Yeah. Everything replaced and put back right. How did they find him? Honesty, new setting. 90 95%. I was never this clean, slick. <laughs> I don't care much for this. Pretending we're back where we started. I want to know where we are. So they're orbiting Saturn right now. Dude, her daughter's all old. Or his daughter's all old. He left when she was a kid. How did they find him from the black hole? How did they find him? Honestly. People didn't believe me. They thought that I was doing it all myself. I knew who it was. Dude, she spent her whole life without her dad, bro. But I knew he'd come back. Yeah, he's back, but she spent her whole life. Because my dad promised me. I'm here now, Mark. Yeah, after freaking so many years. My kid's here for me now. It's the saddest thing I've ever seen in my life. Dude, his daughter, bro. Her whole life without her dad. And where the hell is she? She's stuck. Oh, 
alone. So Matthew McConaughey is going to save Anne Hathaway. It took the ship. What's this? An American base? Wait, at the end right there? Matthew McConaughey went to go like rescue her, but then she was just like with the colony right there. Uh, that kind of confused me. All right, and that was my reaction for Interstellar. That was a crazy one, very unique. I like the idea how time uh, differentiates whether you're on a planet compared to like what's going on in Earth. Apparently one hour in this planet was seven years on Earth. I like how they were playing with that. Um, I don't understand how they found him after he fell into that black hole. They didn't explain that, but I can look past that. Uh, the movie was very sad. We're thinking about, it's about like saving Earth and uh, saving the people from Earth, finding a new location to live. But uh, it wasn't even about that at all. It was a really about a daughter and her daughter's connection with her father and that connection lasted her entire life the end was a little confusing right there you know matthew mcconaughey he set out to save anne hathaway but where was anne hathaway she was like she was already saved you didn't even have to save her uh this movie was a little long but it didn't seem long at a good enough pace where it didn't seem like it was almost three hours long like it had me intrigued it had me focused it had me caught on like every piece of dialogue that was going on but those were my thoughts on the film what you guys think of this one let me know in the comments down below and if you guys like my reaction hit that like button that really helps the video get sent around youtube and that's gonna be it i'll see you guys in the next one don't do drugs keep it secret keep it safe peace